56. The First Days of the New Creation A great deal of nonsense has been written in recent years about the so-called last days of California and the supposed last days of planet Earth. We are expected to react with fear to these coming events and therefore accept whatever ideas the writer is promoting. Our Lord, however, made clear that no man knows the day of his coming and the world's end. Matthew 24, 36, although one writer very recently has actually dared to set a date. There is no secrecy in the Bible about the new creation, however. It began when Jesus Christ arose from the dead as the first fruits of the new creation. 1 Corinthians 15, 20. We enter the new creation with our rebirth in Christ. If any man be in Christ, he is a new creature, or more accurately, a new creation. 2 Corinthians 5.17a The first days of the new creation are thus behind us. Christ has come. He has broken the power of sin and death and begun the work of making all things new, a task he shall bring to completion at the end of the old world. The old world around us is therefore a dying world. We are required to live and act in terms of the power of the new creation. For this reason, St. Paul, whose life was not always an easy one, could declare emphatically, Rejoice in the Lord always, and again I say rejoice. Philippians 4.4 4. Now, take a hard look at yourself in terms of which world and whose power are you living. We certainly must live in this old sinful world as a citizen of two kingdoms, but need we surrender to it? Is it not a denial of our faith when we act as though the power of a dying world is greater than the power of God? Leave it to fools to wander and imagine about the earth's last days. Serve God with joy and thanksgiving in these young days of his new creation. If St. Paul as a prisoner could speak with rejoicing in his new citizenship and in the powers of Christ, you and I have much to be ashamed of for all our grumbling and fearfulness. We are citizens of the new creation, and all things are moving toward their great renewal around us. Men are reborn every day into this great new order, and we are disciplined in terms of it. The world is ours in Christ, for we are heirs of all things, and we had better claim all things for Christ. We are the blessed meek, the tamed, harnessed, and disciplined people of God, and we shall inherit the earth and delight ourselves in the abundance of peace. Matthew 5.5, 5, Psalm 37.11